I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. You let me go! No, no. You pushed me! Enough already. There's the shoebox, the clicker, and some kind of bullet. Shining with light, how did the clicker get here from Washington? Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. Saga, what is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story.
You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. I need to retrace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. 